G'day everyone. This afternoon I'm over in Shepparton on the Goulburn River bait fishing to see if I can catch a Murray Cod, a Yellow Belly or a Silver Perch. Hey you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. Right now I am right in the heart of Shepparton. There's a road probably 20 metres behind me called the Boulevard. And there's the Goulburn River. Smack bang in the middle of Shepparton. I've got a nice little spot here on the bank to fish. And you can actually hear the traffic and the people walking along the footpath on the top of that bank. Quite a nice bank along here. Looks like a few people must fish here. How sturdy is that stick? <laughs> I'm just going to throw this one just out here a little bit. I don't know how deep it is. Find out when I let that go in. I'll let it sink. Yeah, it's only a small sinker. I reckon it's probably only about four or five feet deep there. All right. I'll put that in and I'll keep my eye on it while I set up my other rod. Right now with my second rod I've got a bubble float with about a metre of dropper and a bunch of worms but I've got a problem, the wind. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to sit that like that and just keep my eye on the float because the wind's going to blow the float that way but the current's going to take it that way so I was hoping to cast it out and just watch it drift down but I don't think I'm going to be able to, I think the wind's too strong. I was just rebaiting my line and my float just dipped a couple of times and took off that way and whatever it was just almost pulled the whole rod in. I'm guessing it might have been a carp. But either way, it's a good thing I was paying close attention to my float. <laughs> Here it goes again, look, the float's gone under. Oh, something grabbed the float then. There he goes, he's tap, 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 tap. Got him. It's a little silver. A little silver perch under the bubble float. There we go. Look at that, eh? You got that a bit deep, mate. And I'll have to, I'll break the line, tie another hook on and get it back in as quickly as I can because what I learnt last time when I was over here is that silver perch, where there's one, there's usually more. All right, buddy. See you later, mate. Right, there's me float with me big long dropper of about a metre, a metre 20, something like that. I'll get that back in. All right, now both rods are in. Absolutely beautiful here, even though I'm right in the middle of Shepparton, it's just very, very relaxing. Something that I did find quite humorous though is when I drove in, you're coming through this bit of a driveway and there's a sign, the first sign you see says no camping. Then the very first access point to the river on the right hand side, there was a white car there with a pea plate on it and a tent. <laughs> Someone was camping there. <laughs> Literally 20 metres or 30 metres from the no camping sign. <laughs> Float's just gone under. Right there next to me. There goes gone under again. Got him. Right there, hard up against the bank. And it's another silver. I was just thinking, I better get up and move my float because it's, it was literally a foot from the bank. There you go, folks. That's a bit bigger, this one. His lip hooked too, which is good. <laughs> they bent themselves in half. Oh, mate, let me straighten you out so I can show the camera. God, they're a muscly fish. Love these, uh, love these things. All right, mate. Oh, and they're spiky. I'll get you back. We'll get a bite on that rod too now. Silver perch, see you later mate. There he goes. It's funny. I was just, my float was literally right there, a foot from the bank. And I uh, thought I'd better move that. I took my eye off the float and I heard a splash, like a frog or something jumped in the water. I looked down and it was my float that had gone down, come back up and splashed and then gone back down again. <laughs> Well, float two, Pat Nosterig none. That float was literally right there when I caught that fish. I'll just put it there in the same spot. Basically what's happening is, because of the wind, there's not a lot of current here. So I've been casting my float just out there. When the wind dies down, the gentle current just slowly takes it down there. Then when the wind springs up, the wind blows the float back up this way. And the, uh, it was quite windy and the, it had blown the float right up hard against the edge. And I've got that lovely little silver. Bidianus, Bidianus. It's quite cool having my float right here in front of me. I can see it really easy because it's just there. <laughs> Why did the blind man fall down the well? He didn't see that well. Just had a bite, my float just went boing, went down once, just bounced. Now that the wind's died down, I can actually I can watch it a lot easier now. There it goes, and again. You see it just went down again then. And see it just tapped, just got a few rings around it then too. 
Something's pulling that float. Something's pulling that upstream very slowly. There it goes. It's just pulled it under. Must be something really small. What the hell is that thing? That's a shrimp just swimming out in the open. I've never seen that before. My float's gone. Look at this. It's gone straight under. <laughs> what have I... Oh, he got off. He felt a bit bigger too. They're only went under once. It went under and stayed under. Hopefully he comes back. Oh, there was a bigger silver. It could have even been a carp. It just went straight down and stayed down. He floats, he floats under. It's coming back up. Now it's staying under. It's got to be on there, doesn't it? It is too, look. Oh, he got off again. Oh, so frustrating. He's right there. Whatever he is, I've just got a real faint glimpse of that fish then. He float went under and stayed under. A bit further out, I reckon. Me float went under and stayed under. That's three nice bites I've had in about the last 15 minutes. Two on the float and one over here that just almost pulled the rod in the river. Three nice bites and I've missed all of them. <laughs> here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. You're not going to miss it this time. Got him. I lifted the... Oh, here we go. That's another... That was a yellow belly, I think. Not sure whether that was a yellow or a silver. Might have been a silver, but it looked like it had a bit of a gold tinge to its colour. It's gone under, it's under, it's stayed under, stayed under. Got him. Now, silver can not lose this one, it's not very big. But have we got another silver? It's a yellow belly. That's a yellow belly. That is, for me, the first time I've ever caught a yellow belly under a float. I wonder if it's the one I lost before. But I, I said earlier I thought that looked a bit like a yellow belly. Come here, buddy. There we go, so I've got two silver perch and a golden perch. All under a float. The float's just cleaning up today. Now yeah, look at that. Nice little yellow belly. A few little red, a lot of red blemishes on them in here. I find, see ya mate. I find down at Lake Mywala that the Murray Cod get a lot of red blemishes on them as well. I've got no idea what it is or what it means. I do believe it's not bad for the fish. I've seen it come up in conversation on social media in the, social media in the past, but anyway. The old basic bubble float. Just a small bubble float. Gee, I'm probably got a metre 20, I reckon, if not more, a metre 30 of uh, dropper underneath it. And it's out fishing the Patnosta rig three to none. Got him. The trusty old Patnosta's finally got its first fish. Bit of size about it, too. It's a Murray Cod. Uh, I've sort of been pretty bad at wetting my hands today because one thing I've noticed about the Goulburn, that's a long way off the water. There we go, I can get a bit of water off the off my shrimp net and make my hand wet. <laughs> there we go, that's the first cod. So now I've caught, uh, I've caught two silvers, one yellow, and now a goudou. Lovely little Murray cod, only small. See you later, mate. Dong. Yeah, I haven't been great at wetting my hands. One thing, I'm absolutely addicted to silver perch fishing at the moment, almost as much as I'm addicted to fishing the Goulburn River. I'm just really enjoying my time over here. But one downfall is you can't reach the water. Look, I can't get right down there. I wish I'd thought of this earlier. What I can do is I can throw the old shrimp net, even though I'm not using it, and that'll give me any water I need. Wish I'd thought of that earlier. I'm an ideas man. Right, four fish, all native, no carp. That's really cool. I'll put this back out there. Now I've just had a bit of a look at the old Google Maps. The road that I'm on here is called the Boulevard, and where I am, this has actually got a name. It's called Stewart Reserve. So if you're in Shepparton or you want to come and fish the Goulburn River. Look for Stuart Reserve in Shepparton because that's where I'm fishing right now. And I am having the time of my life. Except when I get snagged. 
Problem with the float, this is about the fourth time tonight it gets so close to the bank that the hooks snag up on these roots. Right, I'm just tying a new rig here because I got snagged. I might have to make my dropper a little bit shorter under my float. But while I'm tying this on, I just want to tell you about uh, a couple of Chinese guys. Two Chinese men broke into a distillery. They found this big vat full of liquid, one of them poked a hole in it, and all this liquid coming out. He says to his mate, is this whiskey? And his mate says, yeah, but no more whiskey than wobbing a bank. All right, got him. It's not a big bite. I wonder if it's another cod. Certainly very much a coddy bite. And it's another Murray cod. At the same size as the last one. I'll get the whole uh, net thing happening here again. That worked a treat before. Got a bit of a system happening here. All right. That can wet me hands. Just, I was just thinking a minute ago before this fish bit. In reality... I quite wet my hands and try to protect the fish's protective slime by wetting my hands. But this spot looks like it gets fished very, very often. And I wonder how many other people actually worry about coming up with some kind of a system to wet their hands when they catch fish. Hopefully most people. Right, there you go. He's unhooked. A little bit bigger than the last one. And I know he's a different fish because the last one actually had like a little black mark on his head. I actually noticed that. Alright, see you later buddy. You wouldn't read about this. Have a look at the size of that weeny little trout cod. I uh, had a nibble and I thought it was a shrimp and I went to hook it and there's nothing there and I thought it feels a bit heavier than normal, I might have a leaf. Which is why I sort of wasn't sort of commenting or saying anything. Then as it got closer, I saw the silver colour and oh my god. Look at the size of that weeny little trout cod. Ha! <laughs> wow, what a little ripper. I'll get him unhooked and I'll get him straight back. Just got to keep my eye on my float because just before I got this bite, that, see ya mate, just before I got this bite, this float had a bit of a nibble. So that's four native fish I've caught here today. Two silvers, one yellow, two murrays, and one trout cod. That's uh, that's just amazing. No carp, just five fish. Five fish. Four fish. Made up of four different species of native fish. Isn't that just fantastic? I reckon the Goulburn River is one of the most underrated freshwater fisheries in Victoria. I'm loving it over here. I'm addicted to coming over here. This is the second time I've been here in just a few weeks and I will be back again soon because I just absolutely love it. I enjoy it. The fish I've caught have all been small, but I have no doubt there's bigger ones in here. Got him. Oh, I've got a big one on here. This is a better fish. This is a much better fish. Whoa! This is a good fish. I don't know what I've got on here, but it's a, it's a big fish. I'm actually going to turn my phone off. I'm actually watching one of my videos. The last thing we want to do is listen to me in the background while I'm reeling in my own fish. Right, this is a much better fish. It's not, oh, it's getting a bit carpy now. I'm going to say it's not fighting like a carp. This is a good fish. This might even be a nice cod, you know. Whoa! There's a chance that this could be a good cod. I reckon this is a good cod. On a tiny, weeny, weeny little hook. If I lose a fish now, I'll be so annoyed. If I get it up to the bank, see what it is and then lose it, I won't care. I've got to know what it is, otherwise it's the curiosity that's going to kill me. This is a good fish, folks. I don't know what I've got on here, but it's a damn good fish. Please don't snag up or anything dumb until I get a good look at you. Just give me a look, give me a view. It's so disappointed if it's a carp. I'm not a oh! A little boil out there. Oh! Oh! 
<laughs> oh, folks. I don't get angry when I lose fish very often, but I'm angry. This, I'm so annoyed. I reckon, I reckon that was a good cod. I honestly, the, the bite was very much like a cod. He, at no point did he come to the surface. I reckon that was a really good cod. Well, folks, I don't get upset when I lose a fish very often, but that one's got me riled up a little bit. <laughs> now, even if I'd uh, got it up to the bank, I probably wouldn't have been able to land it there. I would have had to walk it all the way down here, over to this log where there's a bit of a, a spot where I can get down to the water there. I would have landed him there. I did have a plan. I didn't quite get to the last stage of that plan. <laughs> oh, wow. That was a buzz just to hook a fish that big. I've caught a ton of native fish this afternoon, all tiny. And then I hooked the absolute biggest fish in the river. Or maybe not the biggest fish in the river, but I hooked a big one and it got off. Folks, the Goulburn River is a cracking spot. I'm loving it over here and I can't wait to come back. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, want to give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. And hopefully I don't lose any fish then.